I, it, I don't know. It, it, it does wrong. seem quite stable, but it provides a... There's some But there's stuff. also the, uh, the time of impact. Yeah, because we have a consequence. Yeah. I don't know how precise it is, but I'm pretty sure you have to manage to get big movement with different slices, and maybe also the impact on that on the leg. You would see that. Yeah, you would see that. The little vibrations from that. <coughs> Could be interesting. Synchronize. And if not, you can always just tell it. Two sensor glass would be better. <laughs> hmm? And more sensors. Uh, yeah. Really more sensors? Because uh, you don't want to be too strong. It's for that reason. Okay, I, what would be really nice? I mean, we would be stuck with data, but what would be really nice to have the elbow joint, elbow here and here, so you can absolutely discern wrist from arm movement, and then try to see how much do you put into wrist versus arm movement. And this could be a ratio, actually, that mm. could measure the progress of the learner. Yeah, stiffness, a way to get into kind of stiffness. Yeah. yeah. So you can be with three. You can even estimate the stiffness if we can estimate the force of impact. So if we it boost those things in free air, mm -hmm. that we call it in free air. Now, well, I gotcha. We, well, we say freehand. Freehand, free yeah. yeah. Then we can measure from the both perturbations, we can estimate the fitness of it. That's mm, stiffness yeah. of it. The stiffness of it. Yes. <laughs> I didn't, it didn't <laughs> amuse <laughs> his things, like moving aside. Yeah. It didn't even. Yeah, it's just, just like, like something weird. Yeah, I, 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 know, I know, I know. I mean, I, 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 I hang out with you guys all day yesterday, and I just you're constantly giggling, and you know, you're talking about your computer stuff. <laughs> Yeah, it's stiff, stiffness a bit, not computer yeah. stuff. It's it's more yeah. control theories yeah. and yeah, it's hard side, stiff side. I mean, once again, when I was in Kawasan lab, that was yeah. typically the kind of thing they did continuously yeah. in, the, you know, in Etienne's paper on the. Sure. Uh, ah, the you know, David Franklin. Of course. Yeah. So David and I were roommates, office mates in Cambridge for in three Cambridge. years. Yeah, I just moved actually from Cambridge in August. You moved from Cambridge. Yeah. What about him? Is he, you went to Vancouver? No, he's still there. He's still in Cambridge. And he may go actually back to Kabata Sun. Oh, yeah? Mm. Eight ADR, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, I thought he was more or less planning to go back to uh, Vancouver sometime in the future. He was to Ted. Here. Yeah. Ted's retiring, well, that was, though. That was years ago. So, I mean, but Ted's still retiring. Ago. He's not retired yet. <laughs> now, I know I got one of these. Who's been retiring for? He was actually kicked off and found a way to continue. <laughs> we actually got a couple of pictures here. David. Dave. Roommate, there was that his wife. Yeah, push it off. It's uh, ah, okay. House. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, roommate was actually. We should be office, yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Figure that as uh, house. Yeah. <laughs> the office room. And because I've worked in London some time, it didn't seem so impossible. Yeah, no, I mean, when I would record somebody trying to make a hand act, say, that didn't know what they were doing, they would go on for an hour and 20 minutes, an hour and a half. The real novices to... without training and no... Oh, well, actually, yeah. the real novices failed more quickly than that. Um, <laughs> yeah, but, you know, like, for me, I, you know, I, I'd spend more than an hour oh, trying yeah. to work on a hand yeah. act. So actually, we're lucky the cruise is so fast. So. Because otherwise, yeah. <laughs> it ages. 
why you hire the best. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, for the same amount of time, you have long time access. Yeah. <laughs> Maximum. Yeah. <laughs> Which is where you get to, I mean, it's still a lot of data. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It's no, uh, it would be nice if it could things as well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Where, in the middle? Well, we were talking, he was trying to talk about embedding uh, uh -huh. uh, posters. Yeah, I actually, I saw a grant proposal somebody was talking about doing that. Yeah? Uh, somebody had, uh, Can you make artificial stones? Um, in theory, but I think in practice, we, you know, we were concerned that it wouldn't be sturdy enough, no matter how well, well be sorry, I don't know this way. Uh, strong, it would it would yeah. come apart again where you cut where you cut it. Sturdy. So the idea is, you take Sturdy. if the two like this stone, mm -hmm. you cut it in half. Oh, okay. Then you put three or four actually three are sufficient yeah. transducer discs. You know these narrow one D mm -hmm. force transducers, and then you somehow glue or screw them in together again. And then uh, it, it breaks. Yeah, it, it, may, it needs quite a lot of integrity. It might work with a real real um, resin glue of some sort. I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Super glue. Oh, yeah. okay. But it's fully biased to stone. Okay. It'll it kind of bring some yeah. line yep. of, I mean, plane of holes that are really different from the rest of it. Not I, really I'd, I'd like to say that it would somehow feel different when you were using it. Uh, I don't know. But they're very thin. I don't, I'm, I'm not sure it will change. I, I don't know, but look. Um, so, on the force transducers. No, but I'm sure we can get it yeah. again. The part of the mind, maybe. <laughs> actually, the, yeah, the yeah, geologist the thing. Section, uh, they could actually, but otherwise it would simply go to mechanical engineering. Yeah. So where do we have them? That's the thing. Boniometer. That's what I was. Looks nice. Sexy egg. <laughs> but does the knee come with it? Something like this. So this is a big one, but they also put some small. But they're effectively flat now. But they're effectively flat. Yeah. So in, in the in smaller one. So this is a height. What is this range? It's a right. peak force that we will would you have to make sure that the uh, hammer stone always remained oriented in the same way? No, that if we have three or four yeah. transducers, we can even get the angle of the As long as it wasn't like at a right angle. But yeah, then it has to be. But yeah, I mean, it's, you might you might do it for a more limited series of. Or you just get completely around stone, uh, two stones. I mean, or we take a stone like this one and have two very similar ones and yeah. section them. I have no idea what kind of forces you'd be talking about. Yeah, it would be good to work actually out ones. Template. Yeah. 
It's all that middle Paleolithic work I did. Okay. That's done. All right. Very nice.